this is arguably the toughest category here. It's time to start the men's quarterfinals on recurve Saturday. A very, very competitive field here. This is your lineup for the four quarterfinals. And we'll begin down at the bottom with a massive matchup between Kim Wu Jin and Mete Gazos. Well, the crowd has been packed out here. It's been a holiday weekend in Moscow, but the wait is over. Let's go straight down to the range. Turkey's Mete Gajos leads them out, followed by Kim Woojin. I'm Karen Bashir, and joining me in the commentary box, Vanessa Lee. Vanessa, let's get this out of the way. This is a tough one to call. As soon as the draw happened, I looked at this match and knew it was going to be a big one. I would expect these two archers to meet in a match like the semifinals or the finals, but they're here in the quarterfinals together. Shooting on target number one. Well, it's Kim Woo Jin up against Mete Gazos. Kim Woo Jin with the better average arrow over his career, but Mete Gazos is on great form at the moment. Kim Woo Jin on target number one is the world number two at 27 years old, came through qualification as a ranked athlete, but he is the defending champion. We look at the matchups in terms of podiums, and well, it's all on the side of Kim Woo Jin with 22 gold medals. Target two sees Turkey's Mete Gazos. He's just 20 years old and he is the world at number five. 2018 was his breakthrough season and he won the last stage in Berlin to book his place here. The very first time the two archers go head to head. On the greatest stage in all right here in the Russian capital of Moscow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mete Gazos will shoot the first arrow. There's Mete looking very happy to be here, but also happy, just calm and ready to shoot. Well, he's going to need to be ready. He's got a tough matchup with Kim Woo Jin, but equally, Kim's got a tough opponent here. Mete Gajos of Turkey will get us underway. <laughs> Both archers just starting off with nines here. Eight. That one drifting over into the eight. So also a longer hold for Mete compared to his first arrow. What a shot from Kimujin. Almost hit the spider in the middle. His group is just a little bit low. I don't think he's too concerned. He'll just move his sight and be ready for the next set. A seven to draw level. Anything more, and Kimujin will take the first two set points. And it's another 10. Kim Woo Jin started dialed in and ready to go. He started off with 29, which is an amazing end. Uh, if Mate, Mate Gazos can pick up his arrows and shoot a couple more tens, he's definitely going to give Kim Woo Jin a run for his money. A confident start from Kim Woo Jin. It was a shaky one from this young man from Turkey. Starting with an eight. He followed that up, sorry, starting with a nine, he followed that up with an eight, and here is the response from Kim Woo Jin. How important is it to get out of the blocks early in a recurve uh, match, given the set system we've got here? Matches can go by really quickly, so if you can start off and take the first set, it can give you some good momentum moving into the next ones. And if you're in the lead, it gives the opponent a lot of pressure because now they have to catch up and they have to shoot better shots. Trailing Archer shooting first, so it will be Mete Gazos on target number two. You can see him turning there. He's described that before in the past in interviews. He just activates his core by doing that. Now he's high. 
So he's made some kind of adjustment, you think? He has. We'll have to see where his next arrow goes. Kim Woojin is in the middle of the target. He's got a two set point lead already. Gazos needs to start hitting tens here. Oh, oh and he's just made too much of an adjustment now. He has a group, but now it's at the 12 o'clock point in the nine ring. Nine. He's just a bit low. I think he might make an adjustment and bring you know, his arrows higher. Oh, oh, he's in yeah. the 10 ring, finally, Mete Gazos. But a 9 will level things up for Kim, a 10, and he'll go four set points up. Wow. Look at that. A commanding performance so far from Kim Woo Jin. He's just dropped two points so far. And let me tell you, over 70 meters, that is so impressive. 70 meters is not a short distance, let me tell you. It's the equivalent to eight and a half London double decker buses. Well, he has been so consistent, and that's what this game is all about. Here are his first six arrows, uh, all just a little bit low. Yeah, you can see he's just a bit low there. If he did make an adjustment, those nines might actually count as ten. So I hope that he did make an adjustment, and we'll see what happens in the third set. I think over the other side of the shooting line from this man, Kim Woo Jim, Mete Gazos, uh, he's staying very relaxed, he's still smiling away, but look at the concentration on the Korean's face. How hard is it to keep your composure here? Uh, I mean, both, if we get a good view of both athletes, Gazos looking very relaxed and Luz Kim focused, determined. Very different on the sh waiting line right now, but this means so much. The winner moves on and has two more matches guaranteed. The loser, unfortunately, has to pack his bags and go home. Start of the third set here in the men's quarterfinals. Oh, oh, there we go. With a 10. Ah, now he's high. Just outside the ten ring. Beautiful adjustment from Kim Woo Jin. You know, good sin. So one to ten here. No. He's got, left it up in the nine again, and a ten is required here from Kim Woo Jin to walk through this quarterfinal in nine arrows. Wow! Oh, it's on the line. It's very close. It's marked as a ten. We wait for final confirmation here. It has now been marked with an asterisk. That means it will go to a measure. If this is marked up, Kim Woo Jin has gone through one of the toughest lineups in the men's quarterfinal here in nine arrows, the fastest way he can do it. Target two, ten, nine, nine. Sounded like that was marked up. We wait for final confirmation, but it did sound like the target judge attained that to a ten, and that nine has gone to a ten. And Kim Woo Jin has taken the first quarter final against a very, very tough opponent in Mete Gazos in just nine arrows. He wins it six nil.